Hey guys, how y'all? Hey, this is the first look. This is this is the next car, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Greg, tell me, tell me all about this car. Come here. Tell me all about this car. Right. You want to start about the car? You want to okay. start about the backstory? I'll start. You start wherever you feel comfortable. 1996. General Motors brought back the SS Camaro. This is a dual badge Z28 SS Camaro. Now, in 1996, General Motors did not do the work themselves. They shipped it off to a company called Street Legal Performance, where they did the upgrades on the suspension as well as the upgrades to the uh, these rims, or uh, not what came on the Z28. Uh, this car, particular car, is number 458 of the 22 or the 2249. Uh, SSC 28s that they had that year. However, this car is a 1 in 20. This particular car is a Lingenfelder 3, 383. In, uh, in 1996, the Lingenfelder package, which is on this car, cost $17,000, which was about $5,000 less than the car cost <laughs> brand new from the Chevrolet. <laughs> so this particular car has 20,000 miles on right, it. Right, okay. Um, the original owner was named Emerson Diswald. He's a racing go-kart pioneer. Uh -huh. uh, in 1986, I believe it was, he was inducted into the World Karting Hall of Fame. Oh, cool. His son, Mark, won the 24 Hours of Daytona in 1993 ah. with Dan Gurney. So this car has extensive history. Yeah, in that's cool. Arena, as well as ties to Daytona Beach and the, race, and the uh, Daytona Speedway, where this car will ultimately find its way to its next owner and uh, yeah the next turkey said, run yeah of the proceeds from this particular car will go to local charities the money saved right here in our community awesome thank you i thank appreciate you. that so